Hard to believe it's real. Imagine what it took to make this. The craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah. Their work still stands. But they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. how we get up to the crown. Did you bring the helicopter? Left it at home. Bam. Then I guess we're climbing. <laughs> Over here. We can swing across. Okay. Ready? You first. way up. There, look. You can see some structures beneath the falls. You're right. Up here, coming. Go on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, if you keep asking me that, it'll save us both some time if you just assume it's Oh, oh boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I'm sore. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. <laughs> Got you. All right, I can manage. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just accept my help. Father. <coughs> Come on up! <coughs> but only because you said, please! I didn't, actually. What you said Ganesh was the remover of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and I chose him for Halibadu? He's also the lord of good fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. Is this really the only way across? Yep. You having fun out there? You know it! Amazing. Fun, right? That was the craziest thing I've ever done. In a good way or bad way? I'll let you know. Doing great, China. Yes. We'll be doing better when we get to the car. Surprised we haven't seen Asav yet. Knock on wood. Oh, he's around. Doubt we'll see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> I think I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Huh? Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Oh, thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Worth it? Impressive. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. How do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. Feels more sturdy up here. Don't jinx us. Hip. 
is our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. Wow, nice shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles like this one and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. Ready? After you. <laughs> Incredible. It's our old friends, Harasharama and Ganesh. Friends? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. I guess it's not really his style. this whole place out of the mountain? Sure looks like it. They barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions, they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated.
Through here. Right behind you. Hey, look. Armaments. You were right, Nadine. I have my moments. <laughs> this is all Persian? Uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. First line of defense. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey! Another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good! This one actually works. There we go. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti. Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. That's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. <laughs> what the hell? Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. Oh, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fellow. Here we go. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. Well, this device looks familiar. Let's hope it doesn't turn on the water in here. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe. And on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. It's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Salah and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? Dunno. Just don't get us killed. 
You're no fun. Ready? Oh, careful. Mm. Amazing. What a shiver. Mm, my thoughts exactly. Oh no, no, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know, none of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva was the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Belor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Belon? Oh shit. This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose! Oh. Grab the egg, quick! What was that? I'm really embarrassed for you right now. <laughs> hey. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Wasn't there a huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueducts. <laughs> Water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. Okay. 
Look, uh, sorry if I cut you close to the bone back there. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> you know, none of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me, right? Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take point. So they flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Honesty is not always the best policy. That's true. You need to put people behind you 100%. So you think Asal's keeping his men in the dark? Uh, undoubtedly. Look at this. Duh. We're making progress, no? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. Didn't give it up easily. Yeah, I remember. Are you having doubts? I don't see the dust. Do you? Right. You take I am left. just saying. I take right. I didn't sign up just for a watch. <gasps> what the? <laughs> that works too. Nice job. Probably more where that came from. There. I'll bet the aqueduct's rooted through that structure. I doubt we're free and clear. Keep an eye out.
all right? I think so. Oh, shit. Where are we? No idea. But at least we're not in the line of fire. Well, hopefully there's another way out. That thing carved on the floor. What do you suppose it is? Nothing good. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. Oh. Up here. Think there's a way through. Poor bastards. I don't know. I'd prefer being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. Duly noted. Now, how the hell do we get out? Look up. Hear that? I do. Yep, there's the aqueduct. Up here, there's a breach. The Eye of Shiva. Impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know, a Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? All right. So, in times of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. So chaos. Wait. I will incite my civil war. Stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king. Starting with you. Get him
Fraser Pay. Mm. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. Mm. Hey, take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit, the Sarv's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, <sighs> relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. <sighs> uh... Can I just say, you were not joking about Asav. I mean, wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart? Both. <laughs> but he is smart. Was a doctor before he took up his course. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. Hey. You sure you're good to go? Good as I'll ever be. Just need to take it easy for a bit. <laughs> Up here. Go slow. The gate. We made it. Let's get that thing open. Shiva's gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Oh, shit. Asov's already heading inside. Okay, well, better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? Same Drake. He's a goddamn expert. It's Sam Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. <gasps> Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave you him You knew my history death. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Sarv made you the obvious... <laughs> Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. You know what, Nadine? This doesn't change anything. You'll still get your share. Yeah? Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man. That's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. And to think I trusted you. Listen. I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I could use the exercise. Shit. 